वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिएजेंट्स टैबे रिएजेंट एंड पैटासिस रिएजेंट एंड दीज टू रिएजेंट्स आर वेरी वेल नोन फॉर कैरिंग आउट दी मिथिनाइलेशन ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कार्बोनल मॉइडीज एंड बोथ दीज आर टाइटेनियम बेस्ड कंपाउंड्स एंड देर केमिस्ट्री इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू टेक अप these reagents and make a video on that theek hai so let's try to understand their chemistry okay so as i said that these two reagents carry out the methylation of various type of carbonyl compound and the actual species or actual you know uh, compound that is responsible for carrying out the reaction is this tetanosine methylidine okay so this is what is formed in both the cases however their mode of generation is different and let us see how okay so in the 1978 when tabe reagent was first discovered or was first synthesized so it was used on cyclohexylone which was converted into its respective product and if we look at the mechanism then in order to synthesize the tabe's reagent this is something we should all know because you know in the in the exam you could be given this titanosine dichloride and this trimethyl aluminum and uh, you have no idea that uh, it will give rise to tabe's reagent so this is something that you should be aware of okay so when it is treated with the, when we have this titanosine dichloride is treated with trimethyl aluminum it forms this a tabe's reagent now what happens when this tabe's reagent is reacted with lewis base so which attacks the aluminum and this bond shifts here it leads to the formation of this titanosine methylidine complex which carries out the which attacks the carbonyl compound and follows the pathway now it can be easily understood if we look at the mechanism of the reaction now let's see the mechanism so as i said that as soon as the lewis base it attacks the aluminum this bond shifts and the elimination of dimethyl aluminum chloride takes place and it leads to the formation of this titanosine methylidene now this titanosine methylidene we can see the carbonyl here on ch2 this is actually more nucleophilic as compared to a normal vitigol vitig reagent what in uh, uh, the carbonyl that is generated in case of integration this is more nucleophilic than that so what it does it follows almost a similar pathway that we observe in the case of vitigol initial so this carbonyl attacks the carbonyl and form a butane type species which on dissociation leads to the formation of respective product okay so later in 1990s this petasis he came up with the modification and he came up with the reagent which was much more selective and required much uh, milder condition so the substrate was same that we start from titanosine dichloride and treated with either methyl lithium or methyl magnesium bromide what we end up getting is a petasis reagent which has the dimethyl group instead of dichloro now when you heat this reagent what happens alpha elimination takes place and what it forms a methane gas which is completely unreactive and goes out of reaction media so the only thing that you are left with is with is this reactive active complex which is titanosine methylidene okay and we can imagine in this reaction the advantage is we are eliminating the use of any lewis acid so it means the functional groups that are sensitive to lewis acids can the are easily tolerated under these condition theek hai and if we look at the reactivity order how the various carbonyl moieties of different functionalities react then we can easily you know implement this knowledge to solve the question so we must keep in mind that the reactivity of aldehyde is more than ketone which is more than an ester and followed by the amide so this is something that we have to keep in mind okay now let's look at uh, this is a very interesting problem or interesting uh, Uh, uh synthesis or interesting reaction that i came up with so what happens if you take an acid chloride okay let's if you take an acid chloride and whether to treat uh, if and uh, if you treat it with the tabe reagent or petasis reagent the outcome is always the ketone so in material of uh, which reagent you use you end up getting the ketone theek hai but when you are starting with anhydrides and you are treating it with petasis reagent this is the product what you get not the ketone whereas 
if you use anhydride and you carry out the reaction using tabe reagent the product that you get is ketone so this is something that you have to keep in mind because i feel a question of this kind can be asked in exam and it is very very important now let's look at the reactivity pattern of here we have the carbonyl and we have carried out the olefination so here we can see a series of carbonyl compounds series of carbonyl compound and the most interesting i found was this case here we can see we have the both carbonyl asteric moiety and if we remember the reactivity pattern that we observe we said that carbonyls ketones are more reactive than the esters so if we are using only one to two equivalent then this will be selectively the reaction will take place at this position and in the case of anhydride or as i said that so this is the silyl esters and that is what we said that pertussis reagent very very selective the, even the silyl groups are tolerated even on alpha beta unsaturated you know uh, ketones also alpha beta unsaturated esters which are highly reactive so this is reaction has been very very selective so uh, this is a diene which can be used as a precursor for the diels alder reaction and then uh, you have amide you have this uh, thiamide compound so this is absolutely very very versatile reaction and this is a very important table something that uh, one everyone must, must look at now can we carry out mono versus bis methyl uh, methylination okay yes we can do that so in the this case what we have the cyclic anhydride and if we take one equivalent of the reagent then this is the major product that we get that that is the reaction at one side however by uh, by methylation is very less but if we move from 1 to 4 then we can see exclusive formation of this product similar is the case if we talk about the imides if we start with 1.5 equivalent we exclusively see mono product and if we take four equivalent we see the by product so this is something that you must keep in mind while attempting such questions now what we have this this is a very interesting example so what we have is this hindered lactone and when the reaction is carried out with tabes reagent wow this is very good this gives rise to the product and this again is a reagent this is this video i have already made this is a evans auxiliary you can see what is the role of uh, this auxiliary on the video that i have already made so when you treat this with the pertussis reagent it's we have this aldehyde and ester and as 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 i have said with before that aldehydes reacts much faster than the or not react much but the reactivity of this aldehydes are much more than the esters so the reaction selectivity takes place at the aldehyde position as we can see in the product and these oxazolidine moieties they remain untouched so there is no reaction on this carbonyl so these two carbonyls remains untouched this is something you, you that you must bear in mind this is a very important example and the last and the not the least <coughs> what i said when you take the acid chloride and you treat it with the this is pertussis this is tabes reagent and when you treat it with the tabes reagent i think yes tabes reagent this is a modified tabet reagent looks like a modified tabet so this is a titanium anyway this is a titanium based compound so what we said that it always end up giving us the ketones so this is a very good method for the preparation of a uh, ketones from acid chlorides using tabes reagent now the important thing to know here is that this alpha to this carbonyl there is a you know chiral methyl group present so the using such a reagent if we haven't observed any epimerization at this position so this goes to show how important these substrates are now here what we again we have taken this acid chloride which gives rise to the formation of this intermediate and if we add aldehyde in between then and if we add aldehyde then of course it will come back and this will attack the aldehyde to give rise to the aldol product so this is tandem olefination aldol reaction and the last one is a very important example this is something i feel is going to come in either net or gate this is a very important example so what has happened here we have used this precursor which is one of the precursors for the preparation of a marine natural product so they have used tabe reagent four equivalent so we can clearly imagine that this undergoes methylation okay so once this methylation takes place the next step is the metathesis 
this is the ring closing metathesis that is taking place at this position to give rise to the formation of this six membered compound so this is a very very important example so this is a tandem olefination followed by metathesis so just goes to we have just seen the versatility of the tabase as well as the pertussis reagent and i feel this is a very very important topic that everyone must be aware of i hope you enjoyed the video send me your comments send me your suggestions i'll come up with more videos Thank you very much. Have a nice day.